This is a quick tutorial to get your Seed Studio ePaper device get flashed with Termini firmware 1.5.5. In this tutorial, we will explore method 3 listed in Seed's website, which as of today, June 5th, 2025, has been only reliable method of flashing your Seed device to Termini firmware. That said, Seed Studio ePaper creators have acknowledged they are going to fix method 1, which is frankly a web based ESP32 flash and should be quite straightforward and it's coming in few days at which point this video may be a moot point anyways let's get started step one is to clone the terminal firmware repo liquid you do that by launching terminal performing a git clone command if you are not handy with terminal not fret all you have to do is open the url in the browser and download the code and then unzip it. Next step is to install platform IO Visual Studio Code extension. Uh, so launch your Visual Studio Code. Go to extension and search for platform IO. Hit install. Once installed, you have to open the folder that was cloned. This was on my desktop. After that, you have to select platform.ini, file from the left plane of Visual Studio Code, and let Platform IO plugin load its component. Once loaded, you select the firmware and that what you want to load. In our case, Seed Studio advises to load firmware that is named Seed Sao ESP32 C3. Make a note not to load the one that is marked prod. Let platform IO extension load its task for this firmware. Once the build is complete, we have to connect the Seed Studio device to your laptop and select the appropriate communication port. If, if your device is not connecting or if the COM port is flashing in and out, you can reset the communication channel by holding the boot button, pressing the reset button and then releasing the boot button you can then select the appropriate device. Then you have to hit build button that is marked with a check mark at the bottom of the Visual Studio code. Once the build is complete, you hit the upload button, which is indicated by the right arrow on the bottom panel of the Visual Studio code. Uh, that is it. Hard part is done. At this point, your Seed Studio uh, Seed device has successfully loaded 1.5.5 terminal, and you should be able to provide your Wi-Fi credentials by selecting Terminal SSID. Once you input your creds, you can hit Connect. If you have purchased a BYOD terminal license, which I highly recommend, you should be good to go. If you have not and want to connect this to your terminal BYOS, then you have to select custom server and enter the server IP address along with the port. But remember not to enter the trailing forward flash. That is it. Lastly, do not forget to copy the MAC ID of the device as that is needed when you register the device, whether it's a terminal platform or at your bring your own server. Thank you.